good afternoon, folks. Well, I should say good evening. It's getting pretty close to 6 o'clock. Uh, this is Big Bo here. Today we're looking at a very nice, very clean, Class C motorhome. Hadn't done one of these in a little while. About one of the nicest ones I've seen in this year model. This is a 2004 Fleetwood Jamboree 26Q. 26 foot, 10 inches total length, bumper to bumper. And, about, and this thing is just exceptionally nice condition, folks. I mean, I'm, wow. Uh, sitting on almost brand new Michelin tires. Still got the tabs on them, knee deep and tread. I mean, they, they honestly don't look like they got a thousand miles on them. Look at the shine. I don't know how well you can see it because it's getting late at night, but look at the shine on the side. No delamination. Full, just about a full length awning. Just a beautiful little Class C. Built on the 450 chassis, that Ford E450 with the 6.8 liter Triton V10. 305 horsepower, got a 5,000 pound towing capacity, just about like all other Class Cs do. Got a really neat basement in here. I mean, this thing's got tons of space. Open that up on shocks on the door, spare tire, awning rod. Um, all these covered storage and that first one right there is a picnic table too so you can set it up outside if you want to I mean still got a great shine to it and of course you've got access to the from the back the sides all that that big basement got a 4kw onan generator running right now Window awning. If I had to pick it, you got a little bit of paint right here. I think that's about the only pick on the outside. 67,616 miles, but folks, if you looked at it, you think it had 10,000 miles. Look at the seats, they look great. No check engine lights. We did install a new carpet, and I actually uh, kind of questioned that because it didn't need it. But it was just a miscommunication um, with my carpet guys. So, yeah, brand new carpet, dash airs, ice cold, non smoker unit. Um, no smoke or pet odors. We've already done a pre check on it. Everything works great so far that we've checked. Generator, refrigerator, roof airs, all that stuff. Windshield looks great. All the marker lights work, headlights. Good. This is 26 foot is a relatively easy size to drive and park, and I don't get too many of these as small. Power step. Step inside, folks. You know, this is a non-slide unit, but be honest with you, I don't really think you benefit much from a slide with this particular floor plan. I really don't. Got a CD player. In the front, it's got an outside entertainment center as well with a CD player. Cab over. This makes a queen size bed. You got curtains. There's no water damage that I can find up here. Um, fantastic vent fan. Storage right here, and it's got some extra carpet. Uh, my carpet guys leave the extra carpet from every particular job in the RV. That way, if you ever accidentally stain or rip a piece of the carpet, you can put, you've got the match, you've got plenty of the matching carpet for spare. Um, instead of, that way you don't have to replace everything, you can just replace that one patch. Table booth makes a bed, you got a queen bed in the back, overhead storage looks great, carpeted headliner, no, no, no stains, no watermarks, no soft spots. Yeah, VCR, cool. Of course, that's a ladder to climb up in the cab over if you sleep up there. So you've got the two up there. You can sleep two kids, one adult, or two small adults at this table bed. And, of course, two adults in the back. 13,500 BTU ducted roof air. 
600, ooh, uh, well, 666 hours on the generator. Well, 666.9, so we'll leave it on until it clicks over to 667, which is about right, folks. I always say, seems like for every 10,000 miles, you put about a hundred. You put about a hundred hours on the generator. That's about average. So sixty-seven thousand miles, uh, six hundred sixty-seven uh, hours. Um, step into the back here. Linoleum looks great. That's original. Countertops look great. Somebody has made a and done a great job. Made a little stove top cover right here. Look at that, folks. That's nice. Oven, refrigerator, well obviously the light's not wanting to cooperate, but it is on, as you can see, well, a kid without the flare from that light, <laughs> but, you know, it's already getting cold, double basin sink, Nice size microwave. Over the range of microwave. Step here in the back. Got a little closet right here with the sliding mirror doors. Uh, got a small flat screen TV. Queen Island bed. Still got the original factory bed covers. Day night shades in all the windows. They all work. And then you got a side enclosed bathroom with two skylights and then one in the shower of course shower looks great stickers still look great of course like most of them you know they start yellowing a little bit that plastic does when it gets a certain age but that's normal they all do that a little shaving mirror or adjustable mirror right there I guess you'd call that a high-rise toilet since it's on the pedestal. It's got heat and air in here, of course. Of course, the Fleetwood Jamboree is the best-selling Class C of all time. There's been more Jamborees sold than any other brand of Class C motorhome. And, of course, number two is a Fleetwood Tioga, its cousin. So definitely, of course, Fleetwood has built more A's and Class C's than anybody. I mean, this is a name that's pretty much pioneered the RV industry. And it's a name probably more people are familiar with that's not in RVs. Uh, that's probably a name pretty much anybody recognizes that in Winnebago. Great brand, folks. In my opinion, they make probably one of the better quality Class C's you can buy. <coughs> Pardon me, folks. Um, yeah, this is, this is nice. This closet isn't very um, deep. And there's some extra, more extra carpet. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, folks. I must have swallowed a bug or something. Just started getting a dang coffin fit. Hate it when that happens. Anyway, nice RV. Um, finished, got finished out cabinets. You know, this is a great size. 26 and a, half, a little over 26 feet long or 26 foot 10 to be exact but you know this is ideal for two people or four people or a small family um, this is a motor home that you ought to be able to get into pretty much any campsite of course I say that and watch somebody tell me there's a park with a 23 foot restriction or something but I say 99% of campgrounds you're not going to have a problem getting a site even the older ones in the state parks for a 26 footer and this is small enough where it's easy to drive and park and traffic uh, you know drive through traffic in towns and cities and stuff but you know this little thing's going to sell quick um, and I, well, I'm not kidding about the condition folks the condition is really hard to believe be honest with you I mean, if I hadn't looked at the title, I would swore this thing was a, and you know, from the inside anyway, a 2012 or newer. It's just that nice. It's, I mean, you're not going to be 
you're not going to be disappointed in this RV, folks. I promise you. Probably one of the nicest 04s on the market today. And it's really a good deal for the price. I mean, $24.9 for a motorhome like this, folks. I, I mean, it's it's clean. It's nice. It's clean. It's, um, it's going to make somebody a, a, a really nice little motorhome. Perfect size, like I said, for a couple or a small family. Um, you know, I mean, it's there's no excuses about it. I mean, it's just nice. Uh, yeah, let me tell you a trick, folks. You know, it's got almost new Michelin tires on it that the previous owner installed on it. Especially, obviously, the previous owner cares a lot about this RV because they spent the extra money for the Michelins. Now, if they were going to, if they had had it for several years and were, were about to trade it or sell it, they just would have stuck up just a whatever tire on there, just a cheap tire, but the fact they put Michelin's on there says a lot about how they care for this RV and the, and the shine on this RV. I can't prove it, but I would say chances are this thing's been kept in some kind of cover or building or something like that. It's just that nice. And folks, this unit, 24.9, and uh, what you get for that 24.9 is this low mileage, 2004 Fleetwood Jamboree 26Q uh, checked out ready to go we've already done a pre-check and it passed with flying colors we checked the fridge obviously we got to put a light bulb in it but we checked the fridge make sure it gets cold we've checked generator we checked the running and driving we drove this unit uh, out of the Carolinas about 300 miles it did great especially with those new Michelin's Dash air is cold. Um, you know, we checked the, uh, you know, we've checked uh, the, all the lights, of course, obviously. Got them all lit up. So you can rest assured all the major stuff that if it didn't work would cost you the most money to replace works. And, um, but for that 24.9 price, what we call the option A price, uh, you'll get a complete. Uh, major component checkout by my RV techs after purchase and what it is basically folks we cover about 95 96 or so percent of about everything on this RV in fact it's kind of funny the only, th the only things we really don't cover are tires and it's got almost brand new Michelin's we don't cover dash airs this has got a functioning dash air so we know it works and we put and everything else is pretty much covered so we're going to go through, we're going to check the propane system, water system, we want to winterize it, of course, but we'll dewinterize it, check it out, and then if you ask us to, we'll re-winterize it. Of course, your salesperson will ask you to. I know a lot of people use them when they first get them. Sometimes they let them set till the spring. So uh, your salesperson, of course, will ask you if you want it winterized or not. And, of course, that's complimentary. If you got any questions about this RV, folks, or if you want to buy this little motorhome, give us a call. It's not going to stay. It's not going to last very long. 706-965-7929. And that number is answered 24-7. These little motorhomes like this don't come in very often, folks. Not especially one this nice that I can sell for under 25 grand. So uh, take advantage of it, folks, because I probably not going to get too many of these um, this year. I'm not. Motorized RVs and small ones are really getting scarce. I, I try to buy every one I can find that meets our criteria for condition to sell to our customers, but it's they're getting harder and harder to find, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. They get harder and harder to find. This unit is 24.9 haggle free. You get this unit checked out by my certified RV techs after purchase. It shouldn't take us more than a few days if even that long, uh, make sure you verify with your salesperson how long the current checkout uh, time is for a Class C motorhome. That's why we started doing the pre-check, so we know all the major stuff works. And if it didn't, we have we got time to get the parts we need for it before we sell it to fix it. Mm -hmm. But this one did great. And, uh, you know, we're going to check propane. We're going to check water awning. We're going to check all your drawers, cabinets, make sure your beds fold out all your outside bays make sure they all clean work everything's there uh, 
and much, much more. I mean, there's a whole lot more to it than just that. Uh, we check your converter. We check uh, all your wiring, your receptacles, light switches. I mean, we, we go through this thing very thoroughly, folks. So make sure you get a – this is what I recommend you do. Um, call your salesperson. Get a copy of the sheet of everything that we're going to inspect and guarantee to work for the price that you pay and folks the price doesn't go up just because we spent some unexpected money on repairs you're guaranteed that 24.9 price no matter what it costs us to, to make sure this unit passes our inspection but make sure you ask your salesperson the current lead time for a class C checkout ask them for a copy of that list and what your estimated sales tax will be everybody's got to pay sales tax folks no way around it Everybody has to pay sales tax in shape, some shape, form, or fashion. The amount you pay and when and where you pay it may, may vary on the state you live. The sales tax laws are complicated. Always ask, tell your salesperson where you live, how you're paying for it. He'll get you an estimated sales tax. That way there's no surprises for anyone. Sometimes you pay it to us. Sometimes you pay it when you tag and title the RV. Again, just depends on what state you live in. And, of course, if you're a Georgia resident, since we're a licensed, bonded, insured RV dealer, the oldest one in the state of Georgia, um, uh, we, uh, we do your title work for you. That's actually the state, that's actually the law. But all out-of-state customers primarily, depending on your state, will uh, do your own title work. Um, or some states uh, require out-of-state dealers to mail it to the local DMV office that you're going to title it in. So, it, like I said, it's a very complicated subject. Sales tax laws and titling laws, they vary from state to state. They're not universal, so make sure you get that information from us before deciding to buy. That way there's no surprises for anyone involved. Anyway, folks, 24-9, this unit will be checked out by my certified RV techs. Like I said, anything on the list we find wrong with it, it's going to get repaired. No additional cost to you. Um, after this unit's been checked out, we're going to clean it inside and out. My cleaning crew does a great job. Then my service manager, Gordy, is going to do his final walkthrough and make sure everything's to his satisfaction. If it is, he'll call you, set up an appointment for you to pick up your new-to-you Jamboree Class C. Once you arrive here at the appointed time, RV Tech checked it out. Knows it better than anybody. He's going to give you a one-on-one -on -one personal orientation show you how to operate everything on the coach answer any questions you have give you tips tricks and pointers help you hook up a runabout if you're going to tow something back with it and much more that's included for that 24.9 price and you're welcome to record them and with your phone or camera if you want to On top of that folks we're going to give you a couple little bonus things we're going to give you a starter kit big five gallon bucket brand new sealed up with a New sewer hose, water hose, pressure reducer, toilet paper, toilet chemicals, um, electrical adapters, and, and more. You know, any other RV dealership you go to, you buy a used RV, it comes with nothing. At the very best, it might come with a sewer hose. That's it. And then you got to go in their store and spend 100 bucks on all that stuff after you buy the RV from them, but not here, folks. We give you all that, plus we give you 21 nights of free camping up to tw in a 12-month period. Also included for that 24 night is up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. So if you take advantage of that, folks, your first year of camping is on us. Well, that's $1,000 no matter how you cut it, minimum. Uh, also get instructional DVDs that you can watch, um, kind of a generic RV 101 DVD. That's also included with it. And your drive-out tag is also included, folks. You get a nationwide drive-out tag, no additional cost. All for $24.9. And, folks, that's $24.9 plus applicable sales tax. No extra fees. No surprises. No games. No gimmicks. You know, you go to these other RV dealerships, folks. They can, some of them charge you up to thousands of dollars in dock fees, prep fees, tag and title fees. Uh, inspection fees, setup fees, freight fees, whatever they call it, folks, it's all ripoff fees. 100% dealer profit. The only thing you're required to pay is the sales price and applicable sales tax, unless you have like extended warranties or add stuff to it, like a screen room or stuff like that, of course, or delivery. But 
like I said, most of these fees these dealers charge you, don't pay them. Walk out. Anyway, 24 9, no games, gimmicks, or surprises, plus tax. A taggle free firm, doesn't matter how you're paying for it. If it's cash, trade, finance, or a combination of three, it's 24 9. I'm not going to take a penny less and, and still give you all those same benefits. Now, if you don't want those benefits, you can do what we call option B, and that's an as is price. Now, keep in mind, we've checked the major stuff, but as is is as is, folks. Something doesn't work or stops working, it's your baby. Your dime, you fix it if you want to or don't fix it. There's no exclusions to that rule. It doesn't matter if it's running gear, chassis, RV component, or structural component. It's as is, is as is. Once you take possession of it, it's yours, good and bad. And uh, no, no, uh, no orientation, no inspection, no free camping. No cleanup, just just basically we give you the RV, a starter kit, instructional DVD, and a drive-out tag only. And if you want an option B price, contact my sales department. 706-965-7929 is the phone number. Uh, Parkway RV Center, folks, is the family-owned and operated used RV uh, dealership. We've been in business since 1968. 51 years Definitely, uh, that's a long time. In fact, we're the oldest continuously operated uh, independent RV dealer, used RV dealer in the entire state of Georgia. And uh, we're third generation, family owned and operated. We're not going anywhere, folks. We sell five to 600 used RVs a year. And um, we sell all over the country. We've got about 150 in stock, so definitely Got plenty of inventory for you to look at. Got some great prices. Got some really nice low mileage RVs that you just can't find anywhere else like this one for for a, for that price for that twenty five grand price. And um, it's not going to last, folks. Please call ahead before coming to look to make sure it's available. I never delete my YouTube videos because people use them for information purposes and uh, it keeps our Google search rankings because Google owns YouTube. So more videos I have on there. The people type in used RVs, the far, the closer to the top of the list that I come to. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button. Um, I try to post something every day when my other responsibilities let me. And um, you never know what you're going to see here from one day to the next, folks. I don't know. I, I see some crazy stuff come through here and. You know, we'll we'll buy anything we think we can resell and make a buck or two on. So we're not we're not scared to branch out and try some different stuff. And the same goes for trade ins. If you've got a trade in that no other RV dealer wants or can't find a value for, give us a call. Let our fifty one years of experience and connections. If we can find a value for it, we'll put a trade in figure on it. Um, I mean, we've traded for just about anything you can think of, and we'll trade for about anything you can think of. Cars, trucks, other RVs, of course, boats, uh, some motorcycles. We'll trade for. We traded for lawnmowers, tractors, semi trucks. Oh Lord, folks, we traded for gold, silver, jewelry, coin collections. We traded for uh, traded for some uh, antique furniture one time. Uh, <laughs> heck, folks, one time we traded for. Oh gosh, I'd like to say. Uh, enough tackle boxes to fill this entire table if it was let down into a bed full of fishing tackle, a high-end fishing tackle. And we traded for that and sold it. So we're definitely not afraid to branch out and try to put a figure on something that nobody else will. As long as we can legally sell it, as long as we don't have to feed it every day, we'll trade for it. If you got any questions, folks, our number is 706-965-7929. Numbers answered 24-7. You can email us, sales, S-A-L-E-S, at parkwayrvcenter.com. Of course, check out my great website. I've got one of the most informative websites you're going to find anywhere on the Internet when it comes to RVs. Parkwayrvcenter.com. I've made it real easy for those of you on YouTube to get to my website. Go down to the video. If you're watching this video on YouTube, of course, go down to the video description. 
Click on the link in the first paragraph. It'll take you to my used Class C page on my website. You can look at this one. Any other Class C I have in stock, you can click on it. See pictures. See exact specifications, weights, uh, tank sizes, and much more. Plus, I'll have in PDF format a factory sales brochure, which I have printed out in the unit. And I also uh, will have credit applications. Financing is available with approved credit. Keep in mind, folks, minimum 10% down payment is required. And sometimes on one this age, you may have to pay a little more. And um, I even have trade-in appraisal forms so you can start the trade-in process. So we try to keep it as simple and easy as possible. No games, gimmicks, or surprises. 24-9 plus tax. We'll trade. Checked out, ready to go. You're going to get a fully functional 04 Jamboree in excellent condition for 24-9. Or less if you want to do the option B as is price. Thank you for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Green Gold, Georgia.